So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the black bars transition in Premiere Pro. So to get started have your clips ready I've got these two right here. So for the first clip I'm going to add a scale in so I'm going to click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and head forward around the middle but a little bit more ahead. I'm just going to keyframe my scale over here and set it to 125 and then next what you want to do is click on this little arrow next to the stopwatch which will bring this graph down. Click on this keyframe and then you want to hold this handle down so just click and drag it down make sure it's on the bar next to it so make sure it's not too high or too low just right next to it and it should look like that next all we want to do is head a few keyframes forward in fact head all the way to the end but just one keyframe back so before the clip ends and what you want to do is just keyframe it back to whatever it was originally so mine was 100 now you just want to click on this and drag it to your right so then we can zoom in onto the keyframes and what you want to do is click on the uh, keyframe over here and just do the same so click and drag it all the way to the right just like that and let go and it should look like this now if you zoom out it's going to look like this so what we've done here is make it scale in at the beginning and then towards the end it scales out moving on to the second clip you want to keyframe that as well but set the first keyframe to something like 130 head towards the end and the keyframe back set it back to 100 once again click on the arrow and you want to do the same thing click on the last keyframe pull the handle to the left making sure it's on the same level and just let go and it should should look like this. So now if you do play it back you can see what it looks like. Now we need to add the black bar so you want to right click over here to where your project is. It's basically where you import all your footage. You want to just right click there and then add an adjustment layer. So just right click new item and then adjustment layer. Click on OK. Drag it onto the top of your clips. You want to head over to the effects box and type in crop. You want to drag this effect right here onto the adjustment layer. And now this is the hard part. So what you want to do is keyframe the top and the bottom. Head between the two clips. Keyframe the top to what you want to so I can do something like 10 for both the top and bottom just like that. In fact we'll go for 15 instead. So now both the top and the bottom are set to 15. Click on the arrow next to the stopwatch for the top. A graph should appear and we are going to do the same thing. Pull the handle down towards the left and making sure it's on the same level as the bar next to it. And we are going to do the same thing for the bottom as well so I'm just going to click and drag and there you go. And then what you want to do is head towards the end not right to the end just one or two keyframes back and you want to set the top and bottom back to zero we are going to zoom into the keyframes and what you want to do for the top one is select the last keyframe and then just pull the bar to the left just like that and let go we are going to do the same thing for the bottom one as well so we're just going to click on it and then drag the bar to the left and now it should look like this so now if we do play it back it looks pretty good. Now, if you don't like it, you can just mess around with the keyframes. If you want to, you can move the middle keyframes for the crop effect a few keyframes back. So let's say two keyframes back, so one, two, and then I'm just going to highlight both of these and move them back. You can see that the effect is a little bit quicker. If you want to, you can move them even more back, so one, two, just highlight both of them and move them back again. If we play it back, it's a little more effective but of course it depends on what clips you're using and your scale so yeah anyways that was a basic tutorial on how to use black bars for transitions thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace